Unicorns, and welcome back to another stylicious and delicious cake and candy Christmas episode. Today we have another cake pop in the line, a Christmas cake pop, a red white cake pop, and a candy cone cake pop. How cool is that? I think I like the idea, so here we go. Start with an already crumbled and mixed cake pop though. Click in the info box at the top right corner and learn more about it. And we roll out the dough um, to a layer that is about 3 4 of an inch thick and use a cookie cutter that has somewhat of the shape of a candy cone or sugar cone or any kind of shape that will work out perfect. Means the bottom is of course very straight as we can see here and the top is pretty much rounded. We dip the cake pop in white candy coating. Um, this tends to be a little bit more trickier because the cake pop itself is a little bit more on the thinner side. So make sure you really support that gently with your hands while you're twisting the cake pop stick in. So don't press too hard when you twist it in. Make sure it's gentle and again, make sure you twist it into about half half the size of the cake pop. Next, we did the candy cone cake pop in white coating. It's the same procedure as every time. Um, dip it completely, bring it out and make sure that the excess drips off. Um, work quickly, but in that case, because it's a very fragile shape, not too quickly. And use a toothpick to get rid of all the air bubbles. If you don't want to miss out on any other videos that I post on a weekly basis, click that subscribe button and notification bell as well, or stay in touch on Facebook, Instagram and Pinterest. The cake pop has dried completely, we go over the cake pop with um, red color. I have all the colors and materials that I used in this tutorial um, in the description box below so you'll find the brand and what brushes I used over there. And now we go over the candy cone cake pop and paint on these stripes that makes the candy cone the tip of the candy cone. Part of the candy cone um, is a little bit different. So it has some sort of a more roundish shape that reminds a little bit of a peppermint candy. So um, you start in the middle and you start small and when you go to the edges it gets wider and um, make sure you have some sort of a round shape that creates some sort of a really nice look what I include um, the sides of the cake pop when you paint the cake pop because it always looks a little bit nicer when you look onto a cake pop. Um, which is completely covered, not just halfway through and seems like somebody forgot to do the rest of it. And as many stripes as you want and I recommend going over it over them several times till you have the result that you are pretty happy with like this one right now I'm happy with that Here we have it another candy cake pop great for beginners great for people who are more advanced because you know it does not have to be super difficult all the time Candy Cones, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, give it a like and leave a comment down below. I see you all in the next video and always remember, stay sweet and stay true. Bye!